Hi guys. Well, in this short video, we're going to have a look at TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy.com. Now, this is a really great piece of software. If you're putting videos up on YouTube, you really need TubeBuddy. It'll do really interesting things. It'll tell you best practices, which I've got loaded here. Now, this is the latest video that I've put up. And I've selected best practices. Let's have a look at Upload Checklist to start with. Now that's all there is in Upload check Checklist. This video hasn't been processed for best practices yet. So let's have a look and see what happens. Processing the video. Titles checked. Tags checked. Cards checked. Playlists checked. Captions checked. End screens checked. Now these are all the things that you really should check when you're uploading any video. If you want to maximize the number of uh, subscribers to your channel, I can't think of anything better than TubeBuddy. Now, title. There's a length issue. It's recommended that the total length of all your title is between 20 and 70 characters. And why is that? Well, it tells you there. So perhaps title length issue found opportunities. Let's go back to checklist. Write a compelling title. They're the things you need to do. Complete description, descriptive tags, create a column custom thumbnail, monetize, yes. Add info cards, add the playlist, engage with the video, promote across existing videos and share on social media. Well, yes, that's done. Best practice, all complete. Looking good. Captions missing. Cards missing. Description. Broken links found. Oh, no. Playlist not included. Tags too short. Thumbnail resolution issue. Title doesn't contain tags. Well, title length issue. So there's a lot of work to do on that video. Now let's process the video and see what opportunities it presents. There's two comments on that video apparently I haven't responded to yet. Add cards before drop off. High watch percentage. SEO suggested tags. Let's see what that one says. Current tags. Now they're ones it says I should add. Add, 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 and add. What does that mean? There's too many, I would suggest. One, two, three, there we go. 498 characters. Save changes. Now, so far, so good. Let's just have a look down here. Best practices setup, opportunity setup, active monitoring, search rank tracking, competitors, brand alerts, A&B test, backup and export, and setup. Dashboard. Now, there's the dashboard. Opportunities, there were three. We fix those. Best practices. And back home. 
Now that was only looking at that video. Health report. Let's have a look at the health report. 234k views, 2.96k subscribers, 475 uploads. You can see the amount of information that you can collect from TubeBuddy is really quite high. Engagement has dropped off a little bit in the last probably 28 days. Let's go back home. Search rank tracking, launch pad, brand alerts, promo materials, canned responses, backups and export, retention analyzer, usage statistics and settings. These are the integrations down the bottom right hand side. So it's automatically connected to Twitter. I can connect to Facebook and I'm not sure what that one is. Could be Reddit. You can see I've got another couple of channels Motorcycle Motivation and Video FX Tutorials. Integrations member perks and affiliate center dashboard there's my affiliate link so if you type in HTTPS etc TubeBuddy Robert Chalmers then clicks. There's been nine clicks this month so far because I only just started it. So let's go back home. This is looking really good. Motorcycle motivation. Upgrade now. What does this mean? Aha. No, I don't want to upgrade because I'm not paying anything at the moment. So that's what that means. That takes you to the paid version. What are settings? There we go. Lots of different things you can do. So let's go back to the main one. You can add channels. The affiliate center, there's nine clicks. Backups and exports. And there's all the information that you can do on that. Bulk upgrade annotations, upgrade cards, bulk thumbnail overlay. Bulk find, replace and append. You can delete cards, add cards. These are all actions that you can do from this. This is a very powerful tool. And there's... Let's see what happens when I share on Twitter. Very good. What's happening? Before you scroll, oh, okay, I've got that. Share on Twitter? Well, that's what I just did. Is it going to share on Twitter? What's happening?
and that's all there is to that. Okay, let's close that down. Go back to there, we'll close that one down. Back home. There is so much on here that you could spend quite a long time working through this and showing you how everything works. So we've looked at health report, launch pad, search rank tracking, So you look for keywords, back home, there we go, brand alerts, set up brand alerts to monitor YouTube and get notified when new videos, playlists or channels are found matching your search phrase. So given the search phrases, There's some of the channels. Back home. Backups and export. And that's as simple as that. Save a copy of all your video metadata, then optionally download it in CSV for format. Simply click the button below. No, back home, I don't want to do that now because that will take up too much time on the video. Canned responses. You haven't added any canned responses. They're based on more easily to reply common questions on your channel as well as quick welcoming to new subscribers. So that's easy. Back to home. Promo materials. Channel banners, there's all sorts of things there you can do. Retention analyzer. Ah, we don't yet have a legend analyzer. That's all right. What about usage statistics? Oh, we looked at that, didn't we? And back home. And settings, we looked at that one. So that's a quick look at TubeBuddy. Now, this is really useful. I'm sure you'd have to agree. This is my this is my main channel. And at the moment it's looking pretty good. So that's all for the moment. Thanks for watching. Now back to designing material for my Affinity Tutorials YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have a look at TubeBuddy.com just add Robert Chalmers to the end of the URL. That'll really help me. Thanks a lot.